What's up everybody, Andrew here. I got another video for you today. I have made some EDC updates. Uh, I made my last EDC video just a couple weeks ago and that was how it had been for quite a while. Uh, I stumbled upon a video on YouTube and I started following some other people and companies and I have fallen down the rabbit hole. Super important, number one item you should always have with you is a knife that has not changed. Knife, numero uno, muy importante. Uh, the next item that I didn't know I wanted until I saw some other items, and you know, a lot of people carry those Travex wallets or I see ads for the Ridge wallets all the time. Uh, I'm not a fan of like the metal, like I don't want metal. Um, and then I stumbled upon a guy and he had gotten a couple of products from Hitch and Timber, which is one of the items that I did wind up purchasing. And I really just, I loved the leather. I loved the leather look to organize my stuff. And, and I was looking at wallets and it just, I wasn't, I didn't want those wallets that they had. I wound up finding another company called Dango they're local, made in US, out in California, San Francisco area, and I really, really like the design of this. There have been so many times that I have wanted to write stuff down when I'm out and about and I don't have a pen and or a paper with me. And this wallet settles it. This is the Dango Products P01 wallet. Um, it has one, two, three, four slots for cards. It's compatible with their multi-tool, but I opted not to get it. One, because it's not TSA friendly and I would probably forget. And then two, I just didn't need it. Um, I didn't want it to be that thick. I don't need a bottle opener in my wallet. So I went with this because this has a pen and it's right here up in the spine, and it also has a book. It's a 48 page notebook, and it is got graph lines, so you can really doodle and be organized and not be so sloppy. It says it'll hold 20 cards. I came to the realization that I only need to carry eight cards with me on a daily basis. Uh, three credit cards, a bank uh, debit card, or an ATM card, two licenses, and a fishing license, and the health insurance card. Other than that, that is all I need. A little bit of cash. I have not been carrying that much cash with me because I have been charging everything to accumulate airline miles. I like this wallet because it's a natural veg color. So I've had this for about a week now, and this is the spot that touches my butt in the pocket. You know, sometimes I sweat and sometimes I get a little hot. The cards have been sitting right here, and you can see how it is already starting to age, and that is exactly why I got it. Um, you can change the color band. They sell seven colors, I think. I got brown, and it comes with red, but I wasn't a fan of the red, I don't know. I'm not a fan. And I got red, brown, and green, OD green. And then this silver Cobra Weave micro power cord came with the pen. And then I also got a green one. But this wallet has been really nice so far. problem with my other wallet when it had an individual slot is my cards would slightly fold over that separate pocket and I've had to replace a couple of cards. This is going to keep everything flat. Nothing's going to break. Uh, it got to the point where my Costco card wouldn't even read at the gas station because it was cracked right on the swipe. But today I wrote down something for the first time in the book and it was really great to just whip out the pen and the paper and be able to write something down. That is the reason why I went with this wallet and I cannot wait until it works itself in 
little bit in ages. It's gonna be really nice. So like I said, the first, the first tool you should always have is a knife. And there are certain times when a knife is way overkill and you just need a pair of scissors. So with that, I picked up recently the Swiss Army Knife Victorinox Pioneer X. This is a, one of the larger, it's a medium size, but it's a larger length. It's 93 millimeters, I think. And if you were to get scales for this, want to use a knife you might want to use a pair of scissors and that is why I picked these up because these have a phenomenal pair of scissors along with a couple other tools that I don't necessarily need but they're decent to have uh, like you got a screwdriver Phillips and then a flathead bottle openers and whatnot pry bar and then an awl and then a, a knife another knife but the main reason I got this was for a pair of scissors the problem with this is when you put it in your pocket it tends to go sideways and then it just feels really really weird so like I said I was watching YouTube and I came across this company Hitch and Timber and I was asking questions to the owner uh, via his website and he suggested to fit this to get the pocket slip. So this is the kitchen timber pocket slip in natural veg and on the side it has a black, a matte black Fisher Space Pen which was extra. Didn't come with it. But just having this I've been walking around with this today. I just got this last night. Walking around with this in my pocket. It does not turn sideways because I'm in there with my key bar and my, my remote for my truck. And it keeps it perfect. The leather will soften up over time and this will slide in and out a lot easier. I might even get other ones, uh, other knives and products because or I might there's something that I wanna I want one but nobody makes it so I might try and make my own start dabbling in that but I got a couple ideas and this has kept it nice and vertical in my pocket and I love the logo it's a snake with a like buck knife around it with a couple of stars and I used the I used the space pen this morning when I was out before I used the pen in here to sign something. Complain about the pens, they are both a medium print and I am definitely a fan of fine print because I'm lefty and medium print tends to smear. So that might change. I might get different inserts. Base pen, Boulder City, Nevada. So, I'm really happy with my two purchases. Uh, the wallet is pretty cool. My kids have said, oh man, you have a new wallet. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. And then this one I haven't even seen yet, but that's, that's pretty darn cool. Whip it out. Take this out, which looks pretty badass in and of itself. And just get the job done. There's another product that I'm looking at, along with some other tools that you should have with you on a daily basis. And once I allocate the funds for those, I plan to purchase, and then my EDC will be complete. I do want to get a new knife. The, uh, like I said, this uh, powder-coated painted steel really it really looks terrible. I mean, I use it. I use it a lot. But the black just got ripped off. And it just absolutely looks terrible. Anyway, that's it. EDC update. If you 
like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that red subscribe button. I'm not sure if you'll be able to leave a comment because it's been a little wishy-washy. Probably not though. And all the links to these products will be down in the description.